Charlie, first of all, congratulations on that first full league start Cheers. for you. And also, you've got three points as well. It must be a great feeling. Yeah, especially after last week. With obviously, I wasn't here. I was still at Chorley, but the 4 0. The lads really wanted to put performance on, and I think it could have been more than 2 0, really, with the chances we had. So, yeah, it was good. Obviously, you've come in at left back. It's interesting that the conversations are going on. We spoke to Alex Morris before the game. We spoke to Lee Bell after the game. Now we're speaking to the man who has gone in at left back. Why all of a sudden is is, is the left back role come your way? I don't know. It just <laughs> it started in pre season. My first game was Nantwich, and I did pretty well at left back for the second half of the game. So then I kind of just went into like the the I played West Brom, Barnsley, and obviously I come off and at West Brom injured. But ever since that. I've played that, and, and I think it's my favourite position. I'd, not necessarily the defending, but I'd, I'd love going forward, and I think uh, I think that's where I want to play. So you, you've got in there today. How's it gone for you? How do you feel, and what have you learnt? Yeah, I feel I feel I feel good. I think um, going to Chorley helped me a lot because, like the long balls before, I wouldn't have I wouldn't have known what to do from 23s football. But I've had quite a lot of experience there. Where I've had, where it's constantly balls, balls coming. So I think going there has helped me really learn on what to do defensively. And, and with you in the team with the likes of Luke Offord and yeah. Rod McDonald Rod, and yeah, Calvin Rod, Rod, how much have they helped? To, yeah, to Rod, you Rod's, today? Rod's always talking. Obviously, he's played, he's been playing football for forever, and so he helps a lot with me. He's always talking, always telling me what to do. And if I'm ever stuck, he's always there covering me as well. So it's really, really good with him behind me. How, yeah, how good is that? That you know, in the summer you were pushing right in that whole first team squad, weren't you, in the pre-season, yeah. and you've been involved in that. Has that helped you as well to be to be around and know what's required at first team level? Yeah, I think I I made not many appearances, but I come on a few times when I was before I got injured again, and obviously, had seen all that before. I think if I hadn't have played before, this would have been a lot harder today. But I didn't really feel much pressure of it being my league debut because I'd already played a few games so it wasn't too bad. So what's the amb amb ambition now and the target between now and the end of the season for you? Just play as many games as I can really and hopefully get a goal. I, I, was, I thought I could have scored today if Lockie had just played me in but yeah that's what I wanted, a goal. And you on a, on a physical side of it, coped okay? Yeah I felt fine, just something that I've been struggling with since I've come back from injury. Uh, nothing. I could have stayed on but I just thought the gaffer said come off so... That was it. Keeping that Finney name going. Always yeah. trying his best to stay in the league at Hartlepool. But how proud of you now for, for you and your family that you know, you've both got those first team level that you know debuts and starts. Yeah, yeah, it's good. There was, I think there was about 11 people here today, 12 people here today because my family are over from Australia so they were all here as well. So it was perfect timing for me really. So d did that make you any nerv more nervous or did it help you? No, not really. It doesn't bother me. I'd prefer him not be here to be honest but... I prefer just go home and not talk about it now, but I don't mind him being here, it's all right. And of course, you, you, you're off the back of an excellent result, especially as you say, well, I haven't released the money, but the, the home wins have been coming, haven't they? Yeah, well, I haven't been here either, but they won the last two games before this, wasn't mm. it? So that's three home, um, home wins in a row, and they've all been clean sheets, haven't they? Mm. Yeah, so obviously it's getting better enough we can carry it on to next season and take it into next season. So there was an added pressure that you were coming in the team after two previous clean sheets at yeah. home and a defender yeah. in. So a clean sheet, what does that make everybody feel like? I think um, like Rod, Calv, Offord, obviously when we, I've never really felt like they have quite a lot of passion for keeping a clean sheet but before it didn't really bother me before. Like just 23s games and stuff like that, it's not like as, as big but here, Rod, you, you can tell by the way he's talking at the end of the game, when people are trying to go for more, attack more, he's making sure that people are in and people are making sure he gets a clean sheet.